You know, it's funny. Uh, I think when I was earlier in my career, I used to feel like I had to get up for fights. And now it's, it's almost the opposite. Like, you know, in training, you're sparring, you're holding back. You know, you're not, not really trying to hurt anybody. And then come fight night, you, you just take the brakes off. You don't hold back anymore. So it, instead of a buildup, it's more of a uh, stripping down. It's like letting your hair down after a long day. My favorite things about fighting. It, it's the way I experience it fighting is more or less an exercise in emotional control. It's how much can you uh, pull out of yourself and can you, can you get another person so discouraged they can't fight anymore? Or can you make their body shut off? It's, a, it's quite a challenge. And, and really, at this level, anybody can win. Everybody's got the skills to beat anybody. So it's um, sort of a physical chess match. And it's fun. I decided to become a professional fighter somewhat on a whim. I had been fighting amateur Muay Thai at the time and my coaches had seen some, some of the female MMA fights and said, you know, we think you'd do pretty well at that. And at the time there were, were no amateur fights, so I began fighting professional MMA in 2007. It's amazing to be fighting for Invicta. I was on their very first show uh, back in April of 2012. I think it was April 2012. And now it's the 36th show and I'm headlining. It's amazing to be a part of it, especially after having been uh, behind the scenes as a matchmaker as well. And now uh, being back on this side of the desk and, and being able to really do what I always thought I could do in the sport. I have been fortunate to have a career with a lot of ups and downs and what's great about that is you learn a lot about yourself and the people around you and it's been uh, quite a journey and I'm happy to be uh, having laid down roots and building back up again. I think anyone following my career probably knows I've had, I had uh, a pretty massive slide uh, after I had been doing pretty well. I wasn't performing the way I needed and uh, I had made some changes. I knew I needed to make some changes. I'd moved out to Los Angeles, um, had one more MMA fight, and it did not go my way. So at that point, I was kind of, uh, didn't want to keep digging the hole further, I suppose. But I had kind of bumped into Corn Pet on a whim. He was he had just opened a new gym not far from my house, and I started training over there. And it was Muay Thai only, um, three days a week, then five days a week, then twice a day and uh, we train at the beach in the morning sometimes. And um, it was really incredible getting that level of instruction in Thai boxing. I'd never had it before. So I thought it was kind of a no-brainer to, to take some Muay Thai and kickboxing fights. And I just was really enjoying that at the time. I personally didn't think I was gonna be coming back to MMA, but I think it was in his head all along. And then I, a lot of people think I retired for four years, but I didn't actually. I was just fighting Muay Thai and kickboxing. And after developing with that, and I think primarily mentally developing with that, I stepped back into MMA last year, and um, I'm on a three fight win streak since. What are my thoughts on Pam? Uh, I like Pam more friendly. She's one of these fighters who will step up, and she takes tough fights, and uh, because of that, she has more quality experience than some of the others, many of the others, really, in our division. She's uh, tough, well-rounded, you know, I think some people are looking at this as a striker versus grappler match, but I've seen her put somebody's nose on the other side of their face, too, with an elbow. So, uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. People remember me as somebody who pushes for positive change within the industry and hopefully uh, even outside of it. It'll be uh, so incredible to have that, have that title and uh, have the target. 
You know, everybody wants to fight the champ, and that's what I want. I want people after me. It makes for better fights, it makes for fight opportunities, and it makes you grow.